thanks for stopping by my channel so in today's video I'm gonna take you plant shopping with me the reason why I'm laughing is because I told myself I wasn't gonna purchase any more plants but you know what I'm gonna stop saying that I have roughly about 20 or so give or take one or two plants and I've just fallen in love with indoor house plants I've started like you know, being on the hunt for different, more exotic plants, exotic to me at least. These may not be exotic to someone who's a more seasoned plant owner, but you know, of course I do have snake plants, I have ZZ plants, all the pretty simple stuff that anybody can take care of. So I'm gonna take you shopping with me. Just, you know, there's no particular thing that I'm looking for. You know, if I do see something, I'll pick it up. If not, no biggie, but let's head on out and see what I can find. I did purchase a new plant. I'll save that for last, but let me show you some of the other things that I did pick up. I didn't pick up everything in one day. Some of the things that I picked up were like within the span of like a week, week and a half. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is this book that I picked up called Wild at Home. And it's by Hilton Carter of Apartment Therapy. Now, if you guys are new plant owners or even seasoned plant owners, I feel like you've heard of this guy before. He has a lot of great content on YouTube about plant care, different types of plant care. He's definitely one person that I refer to a lot whenever I want to get some tips, tricks, you know, just overall, you know, education on certain types of plants and how to take care of them. And now that I do have a, a small to medium collection of plants, right now I'm just looking for different ways to style them. And this book, like I said, is called Wild at Home, How to Style and Care for Beautiful Plants. I just thought rather than looking online all the time, I definitely want to have a book, something that I can easily grab and refer to when I am styling my plants at home. So I did get this on Amazon. Um, the retail price is $19.95, but I did catch it on sale for $12.95. So this is what it looks like. Next up, I did go to Marshall's to look for some plant pots. I just like picking up plant pots just because I have a lot of smaller plants which will eventually grow and they would need you know, new pots of their own. So let me show you what I picked up. So I picked up these two beautiful marble plants. These are ceramic pots. What I usually do, and I feel like most people do, is you just simply keep the plant in like a nursery or plastic pot, one that is well draining because a lot of these ceramic pots you will find they do not have drainage holes. Now you can, if you feel comfortable doing so, you can drill holes in them, but I'm just not about that life and I really don't want to ruin my beautiful pots. I picked these up for, they were only $5.99, which I thought was a steal. There's no way I can pass this up. And if I had to guess, of course the size isn't on here, but I would say that this is maybe an eight or a 10 inch pot, perhaps. So I can definitely see myself putting, maybe my anthuriums can go in here, or I would even consider putting my owl plant in here. Again, a lot of those plants I'm mentioning, they are still pretty small. I probably won't use these, probably for like, maybe another year or maybe next summer, but I couldn't pass it up, especially because they were only $5.99 each. 
Next up, I picked up some floral foam pieces from the Dollar General, I believe, and this is what they look like. Now these are typically used for like arts and crafts or if you're getting, you know, fake flowers, you know, you just kind of stick them in here to make your own arrangement. But I like getting these and I also have this little round one here. I like getting these to prop them inside of my plant pots. So I'm going to show you how I use them with my new plant actually. So I have this plant pot which I've had for some time now. I believe I picked this up either from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. What I like to do is take one of these little foam pieces and I put it inside the pot because again, a lot of my plants, they are, you know, small to medium sized plants. And this pot, although it looks pretty small, it is pretty deep. So when you put your plants inside, sometimes they, you know, get lost in there. It's hard to take them out when it's time to water. So I just simply like to put these little foam pieces in there so I can prop my plant on top just to give it some height. So that's what I picked up. This one, I'm definitely gonna keep it in here because I'm planning on using my, ta-da, my new plant in this plant pot. Yes, guys, I picked up a new plant. I know I said I wasn't gonna pick up any more plants, but it is what it is. This plant is absolutely beautiful. This is an Aglianema Wishes. I think that's the correct name for this one, plant. And let me give you a close up without letting all of the soil fall out. But this is such a beautiful plant. And the more I get, you know, more comfortable with plants and, you know, learn more about different varieties of plants, I'm finding that I'm gravitating more towards different plants, you know, plants that aren't just the regular typical green leaf. That's why I was so excited about my Calathea ornata because it had those beautiful pink pinstripes. And I went to the nursery, as you saw in the video. When I saw this plant, there was no way I can pass it up. This is absolutely gorgeous. Let me come in a little bit closer. I don't know if you can see the leaves, but isn't this the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Again, it's called an Aglianema Wishes. The street name is called Chinese Evergreen, and I just thought this was an absolutely beautiful plant. As you saw in the video, I did clean the leaves off just because I know that these plants are susceptible to pests. So, you know, spider mites, mealybugs, all of those things that we all hate. So I decided to just wipe the leaves down again because I did get it from a nursery. I forgot to ask them though, when was the last time it was watered, but I just used my little water meter here. And I did order this water meter from Amazon. I think I just got it for like 10 bucks. I can link it down below if you're interested. Of course, you can always just stick your finger in the soil like everyone says, you know, in the first couple of inches. If it's moist and you know it doesn't need water, blah, blah, blah. But I still like to use the moisture meter just because I feel like you can't stick your finger all the way down to the bottom. So I just like to know where the water level is, you know, further down into the pot. But this is such a gorgeous plant. You know, I'm still kind of learning about this. And I have it in this box here just because I'm gonna put it in this plant pot in a moment. But the reason why I picked up this one is because I noticed that there's like a little bud coming in here, if you can see that. So I like to pick up plants that I see, that I see visible signs of new growth. So I definitely wanted to get this one. This one was $19.99, which I thought was a little steep, but because this is something that you don't come across very often, especially at this time of year, you know, a lot of places, I've been to a couple other nurseries and they didn't have much to choose from. And of course, you know, Lowe's and Home Depot, they have snake plants and ZZs and Anthuriums and Bromeliad, all the plants that you see from those stores all the time, but you rarely ever see these types of plants. So I decided to just go ahead and spend because I just think that this is so beautiful. So the plant pot I'm gonna put this in is that same pot that I just showed you a moment ago with my little foam piece, and I just prop it in there like so, and there you have it. Here's my new plant, guys. Thanks for shopping with me today. Let me know if you have any questions down below. If not, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.